Right now about the Nueces County Jail and a perennial problem at that lockup, overcrowding. As of tonight, it is at nearly it is nearly at capacity. And word from the sheriff's office is that they're operating with about a 10% staff shortage. Our Ashley Gonzalez has more on that story tonight. You're able to take care of their immediate needs, but that's all you can do at the time because you're so shorthanded that you have to go on to the next task instead of being able to spend a little bit more time with that inmate to see what's really going on and maybe being able to make a, a bigger difference. Abel Carrion was a correctional officer for the Nueces County Jail. He says being a CO goes deeper than making sure the inmates are safe and following the rules. It's about understanding them. And when there aren't enough hands on deck, it may create a problem because if he had had somebody that would have listened to him, perhaps at that time, maybe he wouldn't have created a disturbance somehow because he's going through a rough time in his life. Help is wanted. It's been nearly 25 years since the Oasis County Jail has been completely staffed. The work gets harder when we are at pretty much peak population and slightly understaffed as well. It is challenging. The Nueces County Sheriff, J.C. Hooper, says their inmate population is 90%. On top of that, they're short about 30 correctional officers. The question, why? It's not the most glamorous career in public safety. Most people think when they think public safety and public service, they think about street uh, law enforcement, being with a police department, being with the Texas Department of Public Safety. Hooper says with more COs, his jail would be a better and more safe environment. We could open up those two new dorms and that would take our jail, our jail population percentage from 90% down to the low 80s. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News. Moving on to, uh, oh, by the way, if you are interested in a career as a corrections officer in Nueces County, there are some openings, as you might imagine, the information right there on your screen. Or again, you can log on to our website, kidtriplitv.com.